Well, the annual Mamo Wearable Art Show at the Hilton Hawaiian Village is coming up this weekend. It's a great event that showcases our talented local designers. Vicki Ho Takamine, Executive Director of the Pa'i Foundation and Kavika Lum, Designer and Hulu, practi Hulu Practitioner, join us this morning with all the details. Good morning. Aloha kakahiaka. Aloha. Thank Aloha. you so much for joining us because, well, one, bringing these amazing pieces. I can't wait to talk all about these, but before we do, Vicki, for those who don't know, what is the Mamo Wearable Art Show? Yes, so we like to celebrate the art of our local designers not just what we frame and put up on a wall but things that we wear so designers that put our prints on clothing and and in jewelry and feather work we like to celebrate all of that definitely and and talk a little bit about the history of the event so we started Mamo this is our 14th annual uh, Mama Wearable Art Show wow. to really celebrate the diversity of Native Hawaiian arts and culture ceremonial wear as well as we we recognize that we wear our art we don't just frame it and put it up on a wall right so, so it was a way to uh, for us to highlight and showcase the talent in our local community yes and speaking of talent i mean of course we have incredible designers one of them standing with us this yes. morning but what can we expect from this year's show so Kavikalam Nalmida is a master artist of featherwork, and so we've got some of his artwork that he's sharing here. But I really am excited about his design work. Uh, a few years ago, he used to just come, uh, come and help us decorate our stage. Oh. And I was like, you know, you got to get some artwork in there. So challenged him to do some art, and he has done some amazing work. Yes. Some of which you saw on that little, he did all those feather capes. Incredible. Hand by hand. So I'm going to let Kavika yes. take over right now. Because Kavika, I mean, you have did all these designs. They're absolutely gorgeous. We're about to look at another one. But tell us what you have in front of us right now. Sure. Um, today we have two different types of lehulu. This is a poi poi style where the feathers are sticking out um, and a kamoi style uh, lei where the feathers are lying down as like moi as in like to go to sleep. Um, I try to make designs a little bit more artistic so a little bit more asymmetrical than normal um, not so standard mm -hmm. trying to bring our cultural practices by honoring our kupuna and our traditions but making it relevant to us today right and, and speaking of what what is your inspiration behind your design uh, this year our inspiration behind our designs is uh, fresh water and all the things that we need to do to preserve it bring awareness to our water resources um, so some of the designs, they're all made with blue feathers, um, just to represent the water. So we just did a suit top with a lapel piece. Um, and that's Humu Papa style. This is. So, so everything is sewn by hand, so you can still wow. see. So um, on the back side of it, I know it's color on color, so a little hard to see. No, but I can it's, see that. Um, Look at that in the style that I was taught by my teacher. So right. there are signatures by our kumu, that, and this is one of them, where all the strings go into the center. So beautiful. And how long does something like that take you? Uh, this actually took me maybe a week and a half to finish. Incredible. And, and you mentioned your kumu. Where yes. did you learn this craft? Uh, my kumu was Paulette uh, Kahalipuna. Um, she has a store still in um, Kapuhulu. Uh, let's see, I started in 1997, so I've been doing it for a little while now. But, um, <laughs> a little while? Yeah. Wow. And then, I mean, such beautiful pieces. So, speaking of such beautiful pieces, we have a gorgeous model here wearing something incredible. So, tell us about this one. So, Debbie Nakani Lua Richards is wearing a piece. Um, the inspiration was for rain. Uh, so we made raindrops with peacock feathers, um, and then we also watercolored the top. So we hand painted yeah. all the pieces that have been exposed, oh. um, and the belt is made in the same style as the jacket, where it's sewn one at a time. Right. Oh my goodness! So intricate, so beautiful, and we were talking earlier about the process of making this one. How was that? Uh, the process is, it's really fun just because it challenges you to think of what it is that you're going to be doing. Every year it has to be something different right. and focus on something new. So it probably takes about six months out before to start on a line. So the earrings uh, Kavika also made as well as the aponima, so the bracelet oh, made out beautiful. of feathers um, that can, you know, 
So uh, being very creative, where lehulu were only worn on your head or right. on your neck. So the apolima is a different style of, um, is same style of lei making, but different uses. And then he's added his the earrings that's on Debbie's um, outfit. Oh, so, so showcasing gorgeous. other artists that will be here will have um, laohala making bracelet. So you can come and make a laohala bracelet. Uh, silver jewelry by um, this one is by Tara Guma Pack, but one of our really fun f my my good friend Sunny Ching has a new a line of work and jewelry, a oh. line of clothing that he'll be showcasing. Uh, we have a very young, a couple of very young and new designers to our show. Um, Kaanoi Akaka, who's just a recent graduate from Honolulu Community College, will be showcasing her first line of work. Oh, and wonderful! And 15-year-old Anu Disora. An Anu DeSoto, who has a line of uh, bathing suits. So, okay. you, know, you could wear it, Kelly. Oh, my you goodness. Could, you could be the model in the bathing suit. You know, I'm, I'm a little bit Momona right now, too. I, I don't think my... <laughs> no, my dress so hides so a lot. So. <laughs> no, I saw you on your twirling. Yeah, that was my glory days yeah. back in the day. All right, well, we'll see. Hopefully I can check yeah. out those. But again, for those who want to come on out, I mean, 15 years old, that yes. is absolutely incredible. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're already s showcasing such talented local designers, mm -hmm. you know, some that have Arisa, such great significance. You know, yes. Arisa, we've got Kini Zamora, which I'm wearing. Yes, but know. then Arisa, also so. features some new up-and-coming up -and ones. Coming, yes. I love that. Okay, so for those who want to head on out, one more time, what are all the details? Yes. Hilton Hawaiian Village, Saturday, November 16th. The, we have a marketplace with some of these will be on sale from 3 to 11, and show starts at 7.30. Okay, so make sure you head on out. And again, this is open to the public, so make sure you head out and enjoy. Thank you both thank so much for joining so us. Much. Thank you for sharing, again, your beautiful creations. Oh, they are absolutely stunning. And thank you, of course, to our gorgeous model.